Embargo dates are finally lifted for WWE 2K24, which means all the news about the game is finally coming out. And if you didn't know, I interviewed Brian Williams right here on the channel, and he confirmed a lot of little details about the game that we've been asking for. What's going on? I'm Jesse. Welcome to the channel. If you could do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. Let's grow this channel to the moon. It shows me that a lot of you guys are returning viewers, but you haven't subscribed yet. What are you waiting for? First bit of news is a little disappointing, and it comes from my channel over here on the Pro Wrestling Shoot, and that is logo limits are still stuck on a thousand, call limits are still stuck on a hundred. This brought a lot of disappointment to the community. I know that everybody's been waiting to create a little bit and have those extra cost slots for alternate attires or whatever else you wanna use. Unfortunately for 2K24, those limits stay the same. So that is a little bit disappointing and that is a little bit of criticism from me over here at the Pro Wrestling Shoot that we need to up those logo limits for WWE 2K25. Hopefully we can make that happen. This is just a little feedback for the community feedback for 2k i think everybody would really love to see this happen in the future little details are arising when it comes to the gameplay itself that are phenomenal man obviously those embargo dates have lifted and we're seeing a little bit more gameplay happening there's little things that we're noticing in the gameplay that is just getting me extremely excited about this game and one of those things is the fireball payback as you can see on dominic's face when the fireball hits you it leaves some uh residue from the fireball and leaves a singe on your face it's it's a little detail but man this is the kind of stuff that we like to see within the game so i'm getting excited just looking at these little features getting added on another thing comes from the face paint diminishing obviously this was confirmed on our interview as well that when you have diminishing face paint and you have a character that has face paint even if it's a create a superstar this face paint does rub off as you can see on stardust man this is a little detail once again but this is what we've been looking for in the game this adds to the realism take a look at the mist left over on the face on this one and each superstar has different color mist it depends on the superstar i haven't really got all the details on that just yet but the fact that it's leaving residue on your face from the mist this is stuff that should have been in the game years ago so i'm really happy that they're adding some of these features back and some of them are new with the fireball with the mist this is fantastic i can't wait to play this game and get hands on myself this is a win for the community but there's certain features that aren't a win for the community and we're going to dive right into it a lot of entrances have been released and we're seeing that a lot of models are still the same within wwe 2k24 the same attires the same hair the same motions there's a lot of things that are still the same from wwe 2k23 but i think i got a reasoning for it. it was announced over here on my interview as well that my faction could be a little different going forward Fine and all the other my faction players out there who I'm sure this is on the top of everybody's minds in regards to my faction. Absolutely. Uh, everybody's, um, you know, the, the people's you, you guys have been heard. Um, you, so I will just leave it at that. Concerns that we've had with my faction the past couple of years apparently are alleviated and we're not going to have to worry about those going forward. And what were those concerns? Oh yeah. Things getting locked behind my faction, which means attires, which means different models of the game, which means new superstars altogether are no longer going to be locked behind my faction. It's going to be unlocked and you're going to be able to use them throughout the game, which I think is what they're doing with a lot of these models that have copy and pasted attires from 2K23. We're going to be seeing new attires rolling out through my faction. You got to remember, if you're pushing my faction, this is a way to get people to play my faction. How can we get people to buy the VC and continue to hop in this mode for my faction? Let's make it worth it. Let's give people what they want. Let's give people a reason to play. And I think that's what WWE 2K is doing myself included i think i'm going to be hopping in my faction this year guys this is the first year that i'm going to be hopping in my faction to actually play this mode i know that there are a lot of features within the women's community as well that are a little upset that are not added in wwe 2k24 such as intergender matches such as blood for the women you have to also take into consideration that this is a wwe thing if you don't see it on wwe television chances are you're probably not going to see it in the game that 2k is making for wwe it is 
is a little bit of a bummer because we got AEW Fight Forever. They had intergender matches. They had uh, blood for the women. So these are things that we were hoping that 2K was kind of going to take a page out of their book and use it in WWE 2K24. But unfortunately, that's just not the case for WWE because like I said, if this is not on their television, chances are we're not going to be seeing this in the game. We had a little DLC teaser over the week that got me quite excited, man. You've seen the DDP hands. You've seen the Dudley's glasses. You've seen the tie-dye t-shirt. You've seen Nia Jax. You've seen a little diamond up there on the top, which could be Jade Cargill. I don't know. But one thing that got me excited was seeing a baseball cap and a microphone. I don't know which one it is, but I'm hoping one of these is CM Punk. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. CM Punk is one of those DLC guys that they cannot miss on. If WWE 2K24 doesn't have CM Punk, I feel like we've completely missed the boat. I don't think the 2K team is going to mess this up at all because I have a lot of faith in these guys. And I know that they're listening to the community. I know that he's one of the biggest returns to WWE television and quite some time so i can expect to see cm punk return to wwe 2k24 we are only one week out guys one week out i'm excited that we got a huge tribute to bray wyatt which is something that the community has been asking for all year long so i'm glad that bray wyatt we're going to get a lot of faces of bray wyatt in this game there's so many things about this game that is a positive that trying to lean on the negatives to me just doesn't seem worth it. This is a win for the community, in my opinion. I know a lot of people are really upset with certain features not being added to universe mode. I've heard my GM mode is something to really keep an eye on this year. But I'm a universe mode guy, man. I'm with you guys. I want some more modes for the universe. One thing that Brian did offer us on the show was that he said that he can reach out to the creation suite team. He can reach out to the universe team and the my GM team. So maybe we can get them on on a future episode of the Pro Wrestling Shoot to get some real answers as to why we're not getting too many added on features for the universe mode. If you were in the interview with Brian Williams on this channel, then you will know that we got a ton of super chat questions. Some of them didn't get answered, but the good thing is I reached out to Brian and sent those super chat questions that didn't get answered. He did send some of those super chat questions back. And if your question didn't get answered, reach out to me and we'll see what we can do. Some questions he just couldn't answer. Some questions he had to put on pause keep in mind there are embargo dates we're going to be learning about the creation suite we're going to be learning about my gm we're going to be learning more about universe mode so the features that you guys are upset about that are not making it into the game just keep hope man because the gameplay did get a lot of quality of life improvements this year and i know that a lot of you guys are not enjoying that phrase right now just because it comes to the universe mode or my gm or even features for the women's side but just know that this is good for the community when it comes to the gameplay because they only have eight months to make this game another disappointing thing in the news is that brock lesnar is apparently no longer going to be in the game it was reported by multiple sources or that is that brock lesnar is in the game his files are in there but we're not going to be able to play as him in the game so we got 40 years of WrestleMania coming up. We got the showcase mode. We don't have Brock Lesnar. We're not playing as Brock Lesnar in this. I haven't really gotten confirmation on this, but we'll just stay tuned until the game releases. One thing's for sure, if the files are in there, Status is gonna have a field day with this one. And another good positive thing is, hey, they fixed her face. If you wanna check out that full interview with Brian Williams, click this video right here, and we'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.